Hey, it's Brandon Fisher here, and in today's video, I wanted to talk about destinations. So when you first log into Live Pigeon, you're gonna see a screen like this. From here, it's gonna ask, where do you wanna go live today? We can go live to Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, or you can go live with a stream key. So for this example, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on Facebook. In fact, I'm gonna click on a Facebook page. Now, this is an important pop-up. This is basically explaining the fact that by default, Facebook has friends selected as who can view your content. But we actually need to move this to public so that we don't run into any issues. So I'm gonna go ahead and click connect. I'm gonna go ahead and click on my Facebook account. I'm gonna enter my password. So now that I've connected to Facebook, it brings up this pop-up. Now inside of here, this shows me all the pages that I can go live to inside of Live Pigeon. So what you need to do is you need to just select the ones that you want. You can select multiples here, as you can see. But for this example, I'm only gonna choose one of my pages. I'll go ahead and click on the Add Pages button. From here, I'm brought to the connected destinations. Now, right now, it's only showing that I'm gonna be going live to this Facebook page. And if that's all you wanna go live to is one single page, then you're done. But if you wanna add more, so for example, let's say I wanna add a group. I'm gonna go ahead and click Add Destinations. I'm gonna click on Facebook Group. Again, this is an important step that you wanna make sure you don't skip. Go ahead and click Continue. And then from here, I'm asked, well, what Facebook groups do I want to connect? And so I've got a testing group that I'm gonna go ahead and select and then I'm gonna click Add Groups. So now that I've added my Facebook page and my Facebook group, let's say I wanna add an Instagram and I also wanna add a YouTube. So go ahead and click the Add Destination button. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on YouTube channel. Watch this video just to make sure that you're setting things up correctly. I'm gonna go ahead and click Connect because I already know. In fact, I'll walk you through the same thing that's inside that video. So I'm gonna make sure I choose the right email address that is a connected to my YouTube channel. From here, I just wanna make sure that I'm choosing the right channel that I wanna go live to. So I have a YouTube testing channel, and so I'm gonna go ahead and click allow. And just like that, I've added my YouTube channel. In fact, I'm gonna do this one more time for my Instagram. So I'm gonna go ahead and click add destination. I'm gonna click on Instagram. Gonna go ahead and click add destination. And just like that, I've added all my destinations. Now, one thing to note, there is this settings icon here that if I click on it, there's different things for different places. So for example, Facebook pages has three, Facebook groups has four, Instagram has two, and YouTube has one. So I just wanted to point that out because those are the different, you know, all the different places that you can go live. We could add a stream key, but again, we're gonna go in more in depth on that in a different video. And the nice part about the connected destinations is that you only have to connect to your account once. So that's how easy it is to get connected to your destinations inside the destinations tab. And I did wanna point out that we do have other support articles if you do run into anything, or if you wanna know anything more about the destinations tab, uh, feel free to reach out to us by email or by phone number. And we do even have a chat option in the bottom right-hand corner now. Go ahead and reach out to us if you do run into anything. So get in there and get connected to all of your destinations so that you can start going live. That's it for this video. Until next time.